What's up, Thrivers? Ascended One here. I hope all of you guys are having an awesome day. And guys, today I have a confession. Last night I broke down. I said I, I was going to try and stay away from all of the aberration spoilers, but last night I couldn't take it. It's been pushed back and I couldn't take it anymore. I went on a research binge and I want to share, share with you guys say the good, the bad, and the ugly of what I found here. So without further ado, let's get to today's video about aberration and all of the new updates here. So right away, the first thing is first is I found out is that is, is that there is gonna be a brand new ascension cave and this is absolutely crazy self admittedly I haven't even beat the first one but there are gonna be some more added levels and what I think is, is really cool is the um, advancing narrative ending now I gotta say I'm definitely looking forward to that I know with all all of the old computer games I used to play I used to love the storyline and the big huge <laughs> cutscenes so I'm definitely looking forward to that for sure as well as there's gonna be some crazy taming and some crazy creatures and I know we're all looking forward to this blue wing flyer this thing is gonna be absolutely a game changer for sure it looks like it it freaking does absolutely everything as well as there has been some leaked and mysterious photos going around here and one, and one of them is of this like scorpion tarantula looking thing i'm not even sure and i'm not even sure what what freaking this one is it looks like it's got some spikes on its neck it looks mean it definitely looks mean and nasty if you guys know what this is actually please let me know in the comments below i'm a little confused but i know that i'm gonna be worried and i'm gonna have to maybe run from it a couple times right here this has to be that that cloak guy with the glider now I got to get my hands on one of these. I wonder if you are going to be able to breed them or you're just going to be able to tame them like the griffin because honestly, these things look a little bit OP, but we'll see now. I've seen this guy before. Now, what does this look like to you? If you guys said the Elite from Halo, I love you so much. And it, and if this is anything like the Elite from Halo, this guy is going to be nasty for sure. And oh, finally, with all of these nasty looking things, we got a cute little like half bunny, half deer, half, I'm sure like tech or bionic of some sorts. But this thing is maybe it's like the Aberration Jerboa. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to get some mutated one of those for sure in the future all right and this little guy right here i'll tell you what this little guy can ride on my shoulder whenever he wants this guy looks pretty cool he looks like some sort of like jungle water creature or something definitely cool with some wings there i'm looking forward to that little guy for sure and here definitely not looking forward to this wolverine looking like Monster, I don't know. This thing is going to be nasty. It looks like there is going to be some treacherous terrains and there is going to be some horrible creatures there waiting there for us. Or as a wild card said, the horrendous monsters. Either way, there's. it seems like this is going to be like a broken arc or something. But no matter what, this is very, very aesthetically pleasing map. In fact, that they said this is going to be the, the, the most PvE or... or, or orientated map and this kind of makes sense especially with the new uh, st structures that they are adding t to the map if you guys want to see a, a video on that check check out this and, and and I will leave the link for that in the description below but honestly guys this aberration looks so cool especially with all of the tree platforms you are gonna be able to make the coolest bases ever ever they got that little rope ladder it seems like we're gonna be living in a tree like avatar or the lost boys from peter pan we ain't never gonna grow up not me nor i i won't grow up i won't grow up i don't wanna go to school i don't wanna go to school not me not I, not me, not me. <laughs> All right, guys, don't mind me. I'm having a little fun here. <laughs> but seriously, though, this is going to be the coolest map. We're going to have like the artifacts and the lights everywhere. I can definitely see some awesome bases in the future. And I was, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit ticked off when I heard that uh, this was going to be the, the, the most PVE or orientated map. But honestly, the more I got to think about it, this is the most beautiful game I've ever seen. We've all been there before where you were caught flying in, in the sky. And you know what? This is the, the, the freaking scenery is so amazing. So to really to have a bunch of uh to really have an entire arc dedicated towards that honestly i think it's a really cool thing 
Now I gotta say this next one's pretty cool. It turns out there uh, there's gonna be like a radioactive place where you can get like stuff for your batteries or something. But more importantly, you are finally going to be uh, be able to harvest some element w without taking out the bosses. Now I was thinking about that's gonna be a little bit OP, but I think it is actually a fantastic idea because I've been playing P PVP for a long time and nobody is running around in full tech. I believe we need more tech involved. And I think being able to go out and harvest it yourself is going to go a long way towards um, being able to do that. Because I gotta say, I want to fly like Superman. I want to run, run across the water, and more importantly, I want to do this on official. So I'm definitely looking forward to being able to do that. Although, although there is gonna be, it's gonna be radioactive. There's gonna be earthquakes. But I heard that that they're they are going to be giving us suits that that we can make obviously these things look like that they're gonna cost a lot it's gonna be very dangerous but once again with the danger comes excitement so I'm really looking forward to all of that and what is this guy so this has to be the place I, I don't know is that a battery in front of us I'm not so sure what's that blue thing we're holding I don't know it, there's a lot of mystery going on with this map man it's killing me I just want to play so bad but until then I'm just gonna take a look at the pictures and speculate because I heard that there was terrain where there's gonna be earthquakes and you are not gonna be able to build there so so there's definitely gonna be spots on the map where um, you really are gonna have to go off and uh, adventure as well as there is gonna be entire places with no or little oxygen so it just really increases the risk fast the risk factor and the and the reward like on the caves on the island center in scorched um i mean some of them don't have any water on scorched so that's kind of tough there are, there is some gas in some of the caves but i really definitely think adding in more of a danger element make it very hard make it so it's really a trip like i love i love some of the caves that they've added to Ragnarok so definitely I'm looking forward to all of this stuff and they really seem like they're going all out this is why it's been pushed back they're really trying to make it as big as possible really trying to include it into the storyline and I love this part, guys the hooks this these two things are gonna be probably one of the one of the most highly used items in this game for sure guys I heard that there was gonna be over 50 items added to it so this is gonna be crazy now I think that this is definitely gonna gonna replace the hook shot in a ton of ways except for like for grappling to an enemy or grappling you know a teammate's body or an enemy to get the loot or whatever but honestly this is gonna be so cool because climbing up a wall and you and definitely guys these are some nasty looking hooks this looks like it's got some melee written all over it they're probably gonna be a little bit expensive but that's all right now this is definitely the, the worst news is possible because I forgot that this map was supposed to be released in October October we're halfway through November it's almost December but honestly I get it guys I get it and and I forgive wildcard 100% on this one like I didn't really look into it that much but there's a game called rust and that game has been stuck in early development the whole time there's been so many survival games stuck in early development so I'm giving wildcard two thumbs up for persevering especially I know what it's like to take a lot of hate and they receive a ton of it but they keep doing their best and honestly everyone's still excited I'm pumped up and if they can just get it right this is gonna be the greatest game ever especially with the aberration coming out like I really thought that aberration was gonna be a really like tough map especially that I heard they were they were gonna try to eliminate the all of the deaths from from an early level because we've all been there before on scorched earth or the center map you die a million times trying just trying to get going so 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 they are definitely catering to that a little bit but um honestly guys going through the maps if you really just want to start out and have a good time it's going to be the island and then the next hardest one is the center but although the center one's got all the resources 
a lot of high level tame so that's you know and then there's scorched earth which is like the terrain's absolutely the worst but it's got wyverns and you know a lot of people don't like to play on scorched earth for that reason so it's great for the leg but now we got aberration which is i think like people are gonna flood to this server it's gonna be laggy i really hope that they work everything out but uh, but honestly guys i've watched this trailer like 20 times and every time I just get more excited and more pumped up so I really hope you guys are pumped up and excited pop a like on the video if you enjoyed it if you guys know anything about aberration that that I don't and you're holding out you guys gotta let me know because I'm gonna be so mad <laughs> no <laughs> I love you guys so much I'll see you in the next video and as always don't survive but thrive